Uh, hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this video I will be introduced how to transfer the model from the 3ds Max to into the uh, Rhino file. Uh, because sometimes the, if you want to make some the diagrams or the data analysis or make some detailed design, maybe I think the Rhino will be more convenient or the useful. So uh, and uh, if you got some of the uh, file transfer. And and I think they will be good good helps you like uh, some help your work workflow. So the first time, you just pick the file. No, no, no. Uh, you just uh, uh, so here's a uh, a few way to transfer the model into the Rhino, and a different way will be get a different result, and uh, they had a different uh, model layers. So it's, so they got uh, something that different. So, first, so first, firstly, you can just uh, select all the model from the 3ds Max, and uh, just pick the uh, X expose select, and uh, maybe the urban pick the new transfer, maybe. Uh, pick the, we can make a new folders. Save as the name is new one. So here is a different way. The one is you can make the Autodex the FBX, and another another way you can save the AutoCAD. So here the, is the two different ways. So the first time we just choose the from the FBX, and then we can save. Okay. Now, yeah. Now we save to the another vision of the file select scroll select maybe to the uh, DXF yes and the save okay uh, I think it's okay now we just open the Rhino. Oh, where's the Rhino? Rhino. Rhino seven. Uh, maybe big model millimeters, millimeters, big model millimeters, and to find your. To find your models, open that one. So that's two we have saved. The first one is DFF, so just the tracking, open file, all of them automatically. So the model is kilometers. You just uh, you need to make make sure uh, the unit will be correct. So the model unit is kilometers, and the layer model is millimeters. You just check check it. If it it's okay, just put okay. Yes, and they will be show show the shade. Yeah, and you can see the each layer, each each boundary. And uh, each way, and there will be, and uh, any grouped uh, something is all all good. And the ghost state rendering, as you can see, this really really nice model in the Rhino. And on another way, you can choose you can pick the DWG file, open file, no. Okay. Yes. So in the DWG file, they didn't got like the too much layers. It's just like a, it's like a play models. So if you wanna do some like play models, you can have the you can save to the DWG file. If you wanna do like a more detailed things, more detailed layers, you can just choose choose save to the uh, FBX file. So that's it. That is this studio I want to show.